What's going on folks? It's Arte. I'm here in front of this beautiful Neve Genesis board. And uh, I just want to take a minute to thank everybody for the positive feedback and the likes and the comments on all these YouTube videos I've been posting over the last couple of months. Thank you. There's plenty more where that came from. Keep the likes and subscribes coming. Definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel. Check out the Facebook and Reverb Nation pages from the studio, Primetime Sound, Mount Vernon. We have some cool, interesting things happening into 2016, and we're going to bring you some really cool content. So, I often have amazing opportunities to play with tremendous musicians. I'm very, very lucky. I've been very lucky in that regard. Every so often, I get to play with guys that are a cut above the rest, and those are the videos that I try to bring. And I got to play with the Frank Pisani Quartet, Frank Pisani, Cliff Hackford, JD, John Durante, and myself. It was particularly interesting just because I wanted to make it less about the gear and more about the approach, the mindset of guys operating musically at this level. So uh, just to put it out there, I had my regular pedal board, I had my Strat, but I also brought my Tele, which I don't bring out very often, and I just felt like bringing this blonde. And I know it's not usually cool to have a head that's bigger than the cabinet that's on top of, but I don't care because that head sounds awesome. So without further ado, Frank Pisani Quartet, live at the Bayou. Okay. A pleasure playing with you. Again. Drummer extraordinaire. Yeah, man. Proprietor of Park Hill Recording Studios. That's right. Park Hill Recording. Thank you, man. We just finished up a gig here at the Bayou. Yeah, man. It was and great uh, playing with you. Artie, you were tearing it up. I'm going to take my earplugs out so I don't shout. <laughs> Hello. What? what did you say? Hi, everybody. <laughs> hey. Cliff is an amazing recording engineer. He's also a multi instrumentalist, plays tabla, he's done movie soundtracks, Cadillac Man, and all that. Cliff, why don't you tell us a little bit about what your approach is to different gigs and trying to play the right thing for the song? Well, we try to play the music and listen to the, what everybody else is doing and lose yourself in the music and follow your instincts and edit your ideas. Don't try and play every thought that comes to your mind. But um, I want to do a little Indian thing for you because I do a lot of tabla. So it's da, da, din, da, din, din, da, 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 to get a quick interview with the one and only JD. The only man that looks good under red light. Well, thank you very say. much. It is my color. <laughs> Matches my eyes. JD, since a, since a harp is not a traditional jazz instrument, what's your approach to playing over Crazy Changes with Frank? You're pretty much the only guy that knows how to do it. I drink a lot. <laughs> JD, I just want you to talk a little bit about what you do to your harmonicas, specifically to play in your unique style. I tweak them a little bit, I retune them, and I do an old accordion technique called scooping. So the reeds respond quicker with less pressure and air, so I can play softer. Are you using a green bullet? No, I'm actually using a Shaw 54. It's uh, like an old uh, 57, but they feed back when you cup them. It gets louder and they distort. Because of distortion, they stopped making them, but that distortion is perfect for harmonica. 
what kind of advice could you give to other harp players that are looking to be a little bit more diverse and listen to everything from everybody drink heavy <laughs> <laughs> I like it <laughs> Frank Pisani, <laughs> the proprietor of this wonderful event that we had tonight. We Thank absolutely you. steamrolled, if I do say so myself. We steamrolled it. People so. are still hanging out asking, can you do that song? Can you do that song? We'll set everything back up. It's all right. This we is love a great band. band. You have MD'd some amazing bands, The Drifters, Natalie Cole, when you're developing a sound. What is it that you listen for that helps you create the sound that you hear in your head? Ensemble playing, everybody listening, and dynamics. And most of all, whether it be me or anyone else running the band, it's following the MD, especially if you don't rehearse. And we all know how much Frank hates rehearsing. <laughs> especially if you're not rehearsing, to get that whole blend going on. It's all about listening and playing your role. And that's what we do with this quartet, and that's the bottom line, you know? Contribute, and when in doubt, lay out, and when you feel good about what you're doing, dig in. Where can we see you next? Uh, I'll be at the Emelin Theater with Vinny and the Gangster Squad, doing a benefit for Light of Day. Uh, doors open at five o'clock. And what's the date of that? Uh, Sunday. The, uh, what is it, Sunday? 15th. And then we have the gong show coming up together. Gong show December 6th at the theater at the... Harvey School. Harvey School. The gong will ride again. Thank you, Artie. I love you. Love you, too. Thank you so much.